Yo, so as you guys know, you can't see more than 60 FPS on YouTube. Um, I'm going to be showing you the process which I use as a workaround, which serves as the basis for a lot of my gaming videos. Uh, the method we're going to be using is called uh, shadow framing or resampling or frame blending. Uh, these are my render settings and this is how I get that buttery smooth gaming footage. Let's get into it. 5x Yo, what's up guys? Um, I'm in Premiere Pro right now. Uh, this video is going to be covering the frame blending uh, equivalent to the Sony Vegas smart resampling method. I actually personally use Vegas Pro for this method, but considering Premiere Pro is a much more popular uh, video editing software, I'm going to be starting it off with that. I will though do a tutorial on how you can do this in Vegas uh, in another video, so comment down below whether you guys want that, so let's go. But essentially, um, you're gonna wanna be able to have a graphics card or a PC which is able to record at 240 FPS or even higher, if that's something which is you know within your uh, capabilities. Um, I personally record at 240 FPS. Now, don't worry if your PC, if, th if this is too demanding for your PC, because I'm going to be doing a Twixer tutorial on how you can convert 60 FPS footage into higher frame rates. But basically, I recorded a, I recorded an Ace in Valorant uh, at 240 frames per second, 240. 0 0.02 yeah basically basically 240 frames per second um, I'm gonna be dragging this into my uh, media library if you guys want my OBS settings maybe you guys might want that I'll probably do a separate video on that just comment down below whether that's something you know you're interested in um, I think I start my ace here I'm gonna just gonna trim this down to the duration which I want perfect there's my um, there's my sequence uh maybe you're interested in my sequence settings but i put this as usually 60 fps i don't know why that was 10 fps um obviously the video yeah this is all default um now this is where all the magic happens guys you're going to want to go to export then go to media uh right now you can see my format is h264 you know, you you could always go H two six five. I think it take I think it takes less time to upload to YouTube if you want to go down the H two sixty five route. Um, that usually takes longer though, so I just you know stick with good old reliable H two six four. Right now, you're gonna to want to go down to basic video settings. You're gonna to want to make sure your sequence is that is at nineteen twenty by ten eighty. Also, gonna be doing a tutorial on how on the best way to upscale. Uh, 1080p footage to 4k footage uh, I'll cover that later on but basically the first parameter you're gonna to want to change is profile hit high then you see where it says level you want to have this as, have this as high as possible um, once again if your PC uh, can't keep up with the requirements you can always go down to 5.1 or 5.0 but 5.2 usually is the um, sorry, that's wrong. I don't know why it's done that. Maybe it's 5.1, my bad. That was a bit of a hiccup from me. 5.2 is for 4K footage. Yeah, you're gonna wanna choose um, 5.1. If this is too demanding, once again, just go down to five. 4.2 also does the job, but um, higher the better really. So 5.1 there. You're gonna wanna check render at maximum depth. Uh, obviously this does take longer to encode but if that's not something you know if you're leaving your PC on overnight I don't see why that's an issue um, then where it says bitrate encoding you're gonna want to hit VBR 2 pass this is just going to uh, enhance the quality 
and I almost like double check it basically. Um, now the target bit rate in Sony Vegas, I'll, I'll, I think it's maxed out at 200. In Premiere Pro, they give you the ability to go to 300. Um, if this is something which you know you want to go for, by all means, uh, there's not much difference, guys. Honestly, it just results in a in a bigger file, um, in a bigger file size. Um, we'll you know we'll go 300 for the sake of this video. Um, now this is where you know this is the important part of the whole process. Your default will be frame sampling, which basically means it will cut out the excess frames. Obviously, because we're at 240 FPS, um, it will cut out the uh, f the 300% extra frames that you're you know giving the the program. Uh, now the difference is between now the difference here is that frame blending will merge these frames together and create shadow frames, which is what gives it this, you know, really smooth uh, footage. Um, comment down below which one of these uh, videos looks best to you. Um, hope you guys found this video useful. Once again, I'm going to be doing that Twix tutorial on how you can increase frame rates, uh, frame rates of your footage. I'm going to be doing a Sony Vegas equivalent, and I'm also going to be doing a uh, upscaling upscaling tutorial. See you guys next time. Peace.